Hey guys, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. We're back here in Whippany, New Jersey for part three of this awesome pond, negative edge, wetland filter, so much going on here. If you guys haven't seen how we got up to this point right here, click on this link and check it out. Get up to speed. We are in the midst of starting our negative edge waterfall going into our 1300 gallon reservoir. We're gonna build a waterfall coming off this backside of the pond. Now, Anthony and Rob and Kevin, these guys did a seam from our pond liner into our intake. So this is a whole separate liner here that comes up underneath this 1300 gallon reservoir, meets up with the pond, and right here, there's a giant seam. So those liners are now joined as one. We are gonna have water flowing from this body of water into this body of water with about an 18 or 20 inch drop. Now in that drop, we're gonna create multiple cascades. We've got some great vantage points. The house is right here. Look at all those windows. We got a deck looking out over here. This waterfall is gonna be the first thing you see, followed by the pond and then another set of waterfalls coming out of the wetland filter. We wanna spatially align this so that we can get a couple cascades here. So I'm gonna take and start with this rock here. It's not super thick, so we're not gonna use a lot of elevation in one shot. I don't wanna burn up all 18 to 20 inches in my first drop. So I wanna be able to layer this back and that's gonna start with using something like this. This actually slopes off to the left side and it slopes off on the right side. So I have options here. I'd like to see water rolling off, somehow pinch it in with another rock. I'm gonna put it in place and just kinda of see how it feels and then let the rest of the rocks speak to me. Like we usually do, right? I mean, honestly, the rocks do have to speak to you. You have to be able to set them in and they have to look right in your mind. You have to look at it like, have I ever seen something in nature that looks similar to this? If you have, you're probably doing a good job. If it looks really weird, you might have to take it out and do something different, but that's where the speaking rocks come in, I guess. <laughs> This negative edge, infinity edge waterfall is looking awesome. Check this out, like coming off the pond, you're gonna have a waterfall coming off that right side, bouncing down through here. We're gonna get some water over here on the left side. It's gonna pull up here and then disappear over here. I'll show you what I'm gonna do there. There's gonna be like a metal mat, cool place to clean things out and keep her debris from getting into the aqua blocks. One important thing about setting the rock, the weir stone rather, that's gonna be coming off the pond this rock is actually what sets the water level in the pond. So the elevation I set here, water level is gonna be about an inch higher by the time it's running. When you're flowing all that water over the top of it, it'll raise up about three quarters to an inch and uh, that's gonna set the water level behind it. So it's extremely important that you get this right. So in this case, we're, we've got a waterfall coming off the left and coming off the right. These two have to be exactly the same height, otherwise, if one side's lower, it'll drop the whole pond behind it. So we gotta make sure we are on the money when we set these. Incredible job by the whole team today. I actually have Kevin and Rob Fuentes from Tranquility Escapes. These guys are out in Long Island. They're out here for three weeks helping us out with a lot of big projects. And today, we all came together and really kicked some major butt. We'll see you in the morning. Today is all about setting rocks. We want to get this waterfall coming off the pond into our reservoir, kind of buttoned up. A lot of the framework needs to be finished today. And there'll be things to do like create a weir in between these rocks here, something in there. We've got some lighting and stuff to do. You can see Brennan's over here setting a rock, making that whole vault just disappear behind our rock work. At the end of the day, when this is finished, there'll be some cobble around that and you won't see that at all. Then we can move inside the pond and really set some boulders in here. We gotta bring that whole side around. We're looking to incorporate another fish cave over here and then tie this in. Then we can jump up to the next level and do our tie in between the edge of the pond and where it falls off into that waterfall. Anthony's over here doing his thing. I really enjoy doing this stack stone here because once I step back and I really look at it and see all the tight, uh, all the toy, tight, toy. <laughs> Doing to see all the tight joints and everything and how it all comes together and hides in between all the rocks. And even when we have the patios kind of come over them, 
super cool. It's also real cool when we start working the lights in, and even th and this one in specific, we're gonna work a jet in here too. Uh, it's gonna get real flush with the front of it and kind of hide it. So that's all. So, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> you were rolling there for a minute and just kind of petered off, amp. <laughs> We're gonna sling them and bring them right into the hole. Get hopefully most of this waterfall finished this morning. I wanna see this pond, the bones of it rocked in so that tomorrow we're just graveling and then we'll be ready for water in this thing. Now that the pond is really looking good, I'm gonna move up top here to start the constructive wetland filter. We're here at the far side of the pond. This is the waterfall that's gonna be coming into the pond itself. Right behind that, we're gonna carve out for a stream section, probably like a nice big pooling area. And up there on that berm is where we're gonna build our constructive wetland filter. We will have a waterfall coming out of it facing this seating area and the house as well. Some of you might be wondering what a constructive wetland filter is. It's basically a giant biological filter. We're gonna be pumping water from the pond into the bottom of this excavation, which will be lined with liner. Once it's lined, we will have a centipede module followed by a snorkel. We're pumping into that centipede. It's gonna come up through a layer of aqua blocks. Then there's graduations of rock, which are gonna be anywhere from five to eight inches, down to like one to three inches, down to like a one to three quarter inch. So as the water's flowing from the bottom to the top, it's getting time to settle any solids down into the centipede, which can be removed via the snorkel with a clean out pump. And it's also passing up through all that cobble, slowing down as it goes up through and the final layer. That's lots of space for beneficial bacteria to colonize. They're gonna love that highly oxygenated water that comes up through that filter, going through all those little spaces in the rock and gravel before it then starts out the waterfall. First thing we're gonna do is figure out our elevation. So I wanna know what my top waterfall elevation is gonna be, then I can determine how I'm gonna dig my wetland. I wanna have probably like a four inch deep pool in the top of this thing, so I'm gonna recess it a bit so that I can actually have that pooling area before it exits the waterfall. Let's lay this out and get into it. Okay, we've got a layout for our constructive wetland filter. For this particular pond, we're gonna go 10 foot wide, and eight foot deep. We're gonna take this area down approximately 40 inches from grade. That's gonna give me enough room for my aqua blocks and my layers of rock and gravel. We're actually gonna come in from that side with our plumbing down into the bottom, and this is where the centipede will be. At this far end will be the snorkel. This will be our clean out port. When this filter gets maintained this year, we could drop a clean out pump inside there, wash the whole filter down, and pump it out. I'm gonna set up my laser transit, take a shot on the existing grade, and then I'm gonna account for that 40 inches down that I have to go. Then I can start digging this, keep my shape of my rectangle. Once it's all dug, like I said, we'll make that trough for our centipede and snorkel. Then we go ahead and put our fabric and liner in, and we'll pick up from there. Okay, so this is the inner workings of our constructive wetland filter. We've got rock pad went in the excavation first, then our liner, which is our 45 mil fish safe liner. Now we're putting another layer of fabric on top of everything. So right down the center, you can see the trough. That's where our centipede and snorkel are gonna go. And then on top of that, we've got all of our aqua blocks, which will be going in the hole, bridging over the top of the centipede. Essentially how this works is we're gonna take our pipe that comes from the pump all the way down there in our reservoir and feed it into the end of this centipede. The water will enter here 
and then there's all these slots that are in this centipede module. The water will flow up through there through a layer of those aqua blocks. At the far end here, this is our snorkel. This is where we can do our clean outs. This cap gets removed. You drop a clean out pump right down to the bottom. And as you can see, there's a sump that sits lower than the centipede. So all the debris that ends up in those aqua blocks can be washed down into here, travels in there and it gets pumped out and then you're good to go for another season. And that is what the inner workings of a wetland filter look like. We do have one more layer of gravel to put on here. That's gonna be our smallest gravel. We're gonna go one inch down to three quarter. But first I'm gonna drop a few boulders in to try and create the shape of the wetland. That's gonna mean we might actually pull this liner back, cut some areas out so we can get a really cool informal shape going on up here, looking like a small pond. Now we can focus our attention to finishing the big pond, which is exactly what we'll be doing on the next episode. Come on back next video. We will finish up this pond. We're building the waterfall coming out of this wetland filter, hooking up plumbing, lights, all that kind of stuff, and getting us that much closer to turning this on. Hit that subscribe button. Come on back. See you on the next one.